Yeah, the product designer for Verify Pipeline Authoring. And today I'm recording a quick walkthrough of my design exploration for adding additional actions to CI jobs. So in this particular case, um, we're, we're going to add an action to the manual jobs to run a job with variables or to uh, retry a job with variables. So here we have two manual jobs in two different states. This job hasn't run yet, it's ready to run, so it has the play button and uh, the more actions um, drop down. And this job has run and failed, so it has a retry button instead. So let's see if we want to run this job, but we want to run it with some different variables, not the default variables. So we can click on more actions, run with variables, and that takes you to the job page where you can run this job with variables. This is the page that already exists. This is basically the manual job page, but we found that it's not discoverable. So users don't really know to click on the job to run the job with variables. What they do instead is they uh, simply click on the play button um, and they never learn about the option to add variables. So uh, if the job has already run, uh, we want to give you an opportunity to uh, rerun the job or retry the job with the variables. So at this point, once the job has already run, the job page, the manual job page contains the job logs. So we don't have access to um, the variables form, to variables input. So what I'm suggesting instead of recreating a separate page for this, uh, is to use a model which is less disruptive. Uh, it means you still stay on the pipeline graph. Um, you don't have to go to a different page and you can just input your variables here and retry the job and boom, the job is running. So that's just less disruptive than uh, running it from a separate page. Um, yeah, so these are uh, the designs that I'm exploring. Let me know what you think, if you have any concerns. In the future, we want to use this um, ellipsis dropdown for more actions. So for example, we might use it on trigger jobs to allow you to retry um, failed jobs in the downstream pipelines. And there can be other actions that can be added to these dropdowns in the future. Thank you.